trying to get it's killed. Awesome. That guy's nuts. I love to smoke weed, so it's just uh, it's just something I do. I'm really for legalizing it, yeah. so I just really want it to happen. For more than 10 years, I've been doing 420 Fill the Hill in Ottawa. And every year, it gets a little bit bigger and a little bit better. Well, this year, the numbers appear to be down because they're competing with Easter. They'll get their, their, their chocolate out of the way in the morning, they'll find a way to get here. I think it's, it's a cause where, you know, if people want to find a way to get here, then they'll, uh, they'll definitely do it. It's, uh, you know, it's something that happens every year, and it's, uh, you know, for people who are really dedicated to it, I, I don't think Easter is really something that's going to stop it. The past 10 years, this 420 Fill the Hill event has been somewhat of a thing you would come to where you expect to see speeches and listen to speeches. They tried to change that this year. In fact, there's a movement afoot that I just discovered to turn this into a full-fledged festival. You'll notice that there's an awful lot of bands on the bill this year. Is there any chance that that, that could happen? This could turn into to that, maybe off the hill, maybe somewhere where there's, you know, like this is a, like a festival that's longer than just five hours. Yeah, there is talk about that. Uh, it's kind of on the down low, but uh, <laughs> next year uh, there's a very good possibility that uh, we're going to do that. Uh, either way, next year we're going to get bigger and bigger with live music and probably bring in some bigger name acts that uh, everyone's heard about. Uh, this year is just kind of the stepping stone of what we're going to do here. In Ottawa, Doug Hipstead for Sun News.